everything in the house is a mess. You get it into the house, you gotta tear everything out and insulation and drywall and all that and start over from scratch. Last night's heavy rain filled local rivers and streams and many spilled over their banks. Homes and roads flooded. Some cars trapped in the rising water. Well, I come out here, I seen it. I called 911 and then the rescue squad come out. And water wasn't the only issue. The front brought heavy winds with it as well, knocking out power and ripping the siding off homes. The whole side was ripped off, all the siding. And uh, so the wind was very strong at the time. And tonight, new concerns as the rivers continue to rise as temperatures drop. Our team of meteorologists is monitoring the changing conditions as we speak. Thanks for joining us at 5. I'm Ken Rice. And I'm Christine Sorensen. Before we get to the forecast, let's get right to Chris Hoffman, who's live with some of the worst flooding in Beaver County. Chris. Christine, this is Bunker Hill Road in a Potter Township, not too far from the Cracker Plant. And take a look at this. This should all be road. This is Bunker Hill Road. It doesn't look like it at this point because it's pretty much underwater. You got ice jams longed up or lined up alongside it and all of this around here should be land. The actual creeks under 25 yards. Away. That's Raccoon Creek. This is all water coming out of there. No word yet obviously on when this will reopen. It's going to take some time for all this water to recede, which it's actually starting to do at this point. Crews estimate there's at least a foot of water covering the road. Meanwhile, over in nearby Butler County, the situation at a family farm wasn't quite this dangerous, but they do have a lake that they didn't quite want. Lorraine Robinson says since the summer, water has been backing up onto her property. Now with the snow melt along with the rain, it looks like this with flood water covering her property and parts of Bonnie Brook Road in Jefferson Township. She says the pipe under State Route 356 has not been working right, and she thinks that's what's causing the problem here. It hasn't stopped being a lake this winter, this fall. We couldn't even let the cows out now if we wanted to, if the weather was nice. Now, crews were there pumping water out today. PennDOT says this pipe is scheduled to be fixed this spring because they cannot do that work during the winter months. Now, meanwhile, back here in Beaver County, this is Raccoon Creek, which should obviously be significantly lower at this point. You can see how it's pretty much right up here with some of these trees. This is the actual bank. It's all underwater at this point. And you can see how fast it's moving and moving some of that debris at this point. We are live tonight in Potter Township, Beaver County. Chris Hoffman, KDKA News.